hi everyone welcome back to the channel my name is joy and i'm your host for this youtube channel on here we talk about everything beauty self-care skincare and how to look good as children of god in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys the tips and tricks that you need in order to achieve a brighter skin tone now it's one thing for you to buy products it's another thing for you to know how to use your products right to achieve the desired results that you are looking for. Now, if you have dull skin, uneven skin tone, watch this video. This video is for you, okay? So if this is something that interests you, please do keep watching. So the first thing you're going to have in your routine is to have a, a good skin brightening body wash. You need to have a brightening body wash. Now, there are so many out there. There is Dr. Teal's Vitamin C. There is Naturium. There is um, St. Ives. There are so many good brightening body washes out there. So, number one is to have a good brightening body wash. After you're done cleansing your skin, you're going to go in with a good moisturizer. Do not use moisturizers that have too many actives inside. Don't go and buy a moisturizer that is saying skin whitening, skin lightening, skin this. No, 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 no. Don't do that. If you're going in to buy a moisturizer, buy a moisturizer that has mild actives inside of it. Do not buy moisturizers that are going to strip your skin of its natural moisture. Do not buy moisturizers that are high in actives. Buy moisturizers that are moisturizing and have very little to no actives inside, okay? Because you're already using a brightening body wash. You're not going to use a brightening body wash. Use a brightening um, um, bar soap. Go ahead and use a brightening body lotion as well. We are not going to do that because there will be too many actives in your skincare routine. Okay, so what you're going to do is brightening body wash, moisturizing bar soap, and then a lotion that has mild actives. Mild actives like vitamin C that is not too potent, okay? Maybe you can go for something with a little bit of lactic acid that is not too potent as well. Now, there's Dove body lotion. Dove body lotion, some of them have a, a tiny amount of lactic acid that you can go ahead and buy, okay? There's Dr. Teal's vitamin C. And if you don't want to go for a... Um, a mild brightening body lotion you leave it there and just buy a normal moisturizing body lotion but if you want to achieve a faster result you go for a brightening body lotion that has mild actives please don't go and buy the ones that have high actives inside that come and tell me that oh you tried this it didn't work no make sure that the body lotion that you're using has mild actives mild actives i think i'm going to put it on the screen here so that you know what i'm saying don't go and buy the ones that have potent or very high actives inside of it okay remember we are trying to revive your skin we are not trying to strip your your skin okay you're trying to revive it you're trying to you know gradually take it from being dull to being brighter so once you're done with you know using your body moisturizer you're going to top it off with your body oil now, body oil has ingredients that your body moisturizer does not have. You can use a good body oil like coconut oil. You can use a good body oil like carrot oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, whichever type of oil that you like. You can go ahead and use a good body oil over your skin. And this is for your morning routine. But if you do not want to use your body oil, it is fine. All you have to do is go in with your sunscreen please sunscreen is not only for your face your sunscreen is also for your body as well okay do not forget that so now we are going to the nighttime routine now during the nighttime routine you can still double cleanse if you want to which obviously is also necessary to double cleanse but if you do not want to double cleanse this is the best time for you to use your brightening body wash when you're done using your brightening body wash, I'm not going to advise you to use your moisturizer if you don't want to use your moisturizer. But if you do not use your body oil in the morning, this is the best time to use your body oil so that your skin will accept all the ingredients that your body oil has to give, okay? And your skin will be properly moisturized. So if you have any body oil, maybe like carrot or coconut oil, best 
to use it at night if you didn't use it in the morning even if you use it in the morning you can still use it at night another thing i want to tell you guys is you need to exfoliate your skin very very important there are so many exfoliating scrubs out there that you can use exfoliate your skin at least two to three times a week very important if you want to revive your dull skin you want your skin to actually be glowing you want your skin to be even please do not forget to exfoliate your skin at least two to three times a week on a weekly basis okay and i i mostly ex not even i mostly ex exfoliate i actually exfoliate only at night i don't use my body scrubs in the morning but there are people who do if you want to that's okay but if you don't want to use your exfoliating scrubs at night and then top it off with your body oil and go to bed by the time you repeat this for the next one month you're going to see a difference and like i said do not forget do not forget to use your sunscreen it is so important to use your sunscreen now if you're someone that you're, you easily react to products okay i will tell you that after one month of being active on this you need to also slow down on the way that you're using your brightening body wash okay the second month you're going to start using your brightening body wash at least three to four times on a weekly basis okay because these are brightening body wash you don't have to use them every single time but if you're trying to revive your skin the first month you can use it every day all right as long as your skin does not react to it but if your skin does you can reduce it to four times in a week or if your skin doesn't you can use it for one full month or maybe three weeks or two weeks then the next week or maybe next two weeks in the month or the next month you can now reduce it to four times or three times a week that is the best way to even out your skin brighten up your skin in the safest way do not go and be using three days action cream <coughs> or three days action soap white white now brighten brighten now lighten lighten now do not do that because you're going to be damaging your skin okay follow these steps and best believe that you're going to achieve a brighter skin and your skin will go from dull to even and radiant if you're going to be trying these tips please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next skincare video. Bye. I love you. Mwah.